everyone. Today I'm going to my first prenatal visit. They actually were gonna cancel it. Tell me to just come in to pee and, uh, and get blood work and whatnot to check if I'm pregnant. I'll talk a little bit about that later on. But we're going to my first prenatal appointment and I figured for military moms that are moving here or parents that are moving here and if you would like to have like an idea of how it goes down, like knowing the doctor situation, how many doctors you have, do you get to choose? All of those types of things. We're, we're gonna figure it out today. I'm gonna ask some questions. I hope this would help you release some anxiety. Maybe you're pregnant before coming here. I know that can be intense if you don't know what's going on or what things look like and stuff. And sometimes when you see or have an idea of what things are going to be, it lessens the anxiety. Oh my God, guys, I have breakfast on the side of my lip. Sorry, I just had some oats. Anyway, today I am five weeks and two days pregnant according to my calculation and my app. So let's go. It's a rainy day here in Misawa. Today is September 14th. I had to run back to my car because I forgot my mask. Probably just going to the lab, getting blood work, and then going home. Because then they have to give you an OBGYN referral. The military is annoying. So they're actually having me do a pee test. So I'm gonna pee in this cup and put it in the window. Waiting in the waiting room for about an hour just to get a positive map from the pee pee test. You get like a, he's gonna check my heart, my lungs and stuff, and make sure everything's okay. And then they're gonna refer me up to OBGYN and then I'm gonna have to make an appointment for that. <laughs> it's so, like such a process here. What to expect when you come here on Misawa Air Base, you're pregnant. I'm gonna give you kind of like the rundown, but remember that like every squadron is a little different. My husband's in the 35th OSS and they originally had me go up to flight medicine. In the beginning, I was family health and then they put me down to, oh, to family medicine. Then they're like, you're supposed to be in family health. So that can get really annoying with the military because of the, like the communication. There's new people coming in all the time and whatnot. So they had me in flight medicine and I'm waiting waiting there in the waiting room for an hour after I did the urine test. So then they tell me that they're bringing, they're sending me up to OBGYN and that's where I'll be for the rest of my pregnancy. So the flight medicine is downstairs. There's two floors in the hospital. Once you go in, like the elevators to the left, downstairs is the labor and delivery. It has the physical therapy. It has the laboratory. It has radiology. It has the UCC, the urgent care and all those things. Downstairs is flight medicine so I go upstairs after I do the urine test I go upstairs so I go to the OBGYN office and the nurses that were there not the nurses the technicians whatever you want to call it the front desk people they were kind of nasty to me and it was like these two girls and one girl she was like they're supposed to tell you that you're supposed to come in tomorrow at 7 30 a.m to do your blood work blah 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 like it wasn't even my fault went the next day to do my 
that's when you see me the next day to do the urine test and the blood work. So it was like in a span of three days <laughs> that I did all of this. Thankfully, those front desk girls, by the way, are not there anymore. It's men now and they're so much nicer than them. So that was like also in the beginning of my journey of pregnancy was these girls. Like I'm first time pregnant and these girls at the front desk are so mean. Like they didn't even say like, hi, how are you? Nothing, none of that. With that being said, span of three days because the second day I couldn't pee in the second cup. So I was like, I'm gonna have to come back. I went to the car, I drank a ton of water and it was just crazy how much I had to pee and all the blood work that I had to do. But anyway, it's okay. Uh, um, I'm not afraid of like giving blood or anything. So that's the rundown. So the rundown of how, what to expect when you come here to, you know, give birth and all those things. I'm gonna be an OBGYN up until my pregnancy is over. Then they'll move me to family health and they're right next to each other. And then it's like the farm so it's pretty simple because it's really small. Let's see. So you're gonna have three doctors. At, like at the moment, they have three doctors, a guy, and then two female doctors. And they swap shifts like weekly. Yeah, so you only have three options of a doctor. So you don't know what doctor you're gonna have for your delivery. I think that pretty much covers everything for like the prenatal visit. So they just go over like the rundown of what's gonna happen, blah, blah, blah. Like you're gonna have three different doctors. You can't request to have one, but you can. I requested to have my prenatal visits with only female. So you can recommend that for the whole pregnancy. I'll have only female, but there is a chance that I will have the male doctor as my delivery doctor. And then they just give you the rundown. So obviously they take your high blood pressure, your temperature. They go over all the like vitamins that you're taking. And sometimes they won't have like your husband go in with you right away if your husband comes to you for visits and with COVID you can have your husband with you here on the base in Japan so your husband comes with you you wear a mask and he will be able to be in the delivery room with me as well and my doula will be able to be in the delivery room too in the beginning the nurse checks your weight she'll ask you like do you feel safe at home check your vitamins like are you depressed and they'll ask you that every visit that pretty much covers everything if you have any questions if you're moving here or want to know anything that hopefully I can answer just leave it down down below. That is it for this video. It's really, really short. It's really hard to vlog when I'm trying to like do appointments and stuff. So I apologize if it's not, you know, the funnest vlog, but I was super excited and wanted to document my journey. If you like this video, hit the like button down below and be sure to subscribe to my channel to keep up with me weekly. Bye guys.